Hey there, one of the hardest parts about setting up a realistic budget is knowing what income you're supposed to base your budget on. And this is especially hard if you're in a, a job that is, has shift rates or penalty rates um, because you know, you're working overtime, you're working at different shifts and therefore your income fluctuates in a week to week, you know, fortnight to fortnight basis. So what I'm gonna take you through today is, well, how do I actually budget if that's me? It's not as hard as it seems. Um, so here we go. Again, I'm using the board. I'm sorry um, that it, it, it isn't actually very artistic. I'm sorry that it's a little bit all over the place. And no, it's not to scale, but hopefully you'll get the idea anyway. So let's just say that these blue columns here are what we receive on a monthly basis. In this case, we have a base salary of $500. And you can see dotted throughout these 10 months here, we have $500 on a, on a number of occasions. So just pretend that that is your base salary. Now, where you can, the best scenario is to base your budget on your base salary. So if you can do that, so in this case, it's, so where are we, $500 a month is the base salary. If you can make your budget work to that, then that is the perfect scenario. Because what that means is that in these months where you actually get more um, than you expect, or more because of your shift penalties, then that money over and above that becomes purely surplus, and when it comes in, you can take it away and put it in the savings of paid off debt. So first thing is, if you can, base your budget on your base salary, which makes it really, really simple. I understand, however, that for most people, completely neglecting your um, penalty and shift rates is uh, just not an option. You just cannot make a budget work to that. So if that's you, what you then want to do is go through and work out the average. So you can see this green line coming across here is what the average is. So we've got a month here where we earn $750, we've got a month here where we earn 1,000, another 1,000, another 750. So if we average that out over the year, what we end up with is an income of $650 on average per month. So what you wanna do is if you can't live off your base salary, the next best option is to go back through the last six to 12 months of uh, pay slips that you've received and work out on average, what have I received? Now where possible, can I encourage you to actually take a conservative figure? Um, if you take the average, then you're basically gonna be spending everything that you earn. Um, and also you're gonna have these fluctuations throughout the month, which makes it hard. So it's gonna be a little bit of the reverse of working off your base salary. If, we're, if we've got our budget based on our average, that means this month we're gonna fall behind by 150, this month we're gonna fall behind by 150, this month we're gonna fall behind by 150, and then in the good months, obviously it tops it up, but it can make it quite difficult. So what I would encourage you to do is, instead of using the full 650, maybe even if you can do it off 600, just halve that difference between your, your base and your average salary, um, and, and work it on that rather than the full average because you're basically then spending everything you earn. So I'm hoping that makes sense. Firstly, if you can work off your base salary, brilliant, that's the way to go. If you can't do that, then work out the average and then try and pull back a little bit from there and live within that. So if you are a penalty or shift rate worker, that's the income you need to base your budget on. I hope that's helpful. Now, if you are interested in saving money, if you're interested in spending less, if you're interested in breaking the paycheck cycle or paying off debt or achieving lifestyle goals that are really important to you, can I encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel? Every Tuesday and Thursday, we will release videos about managing your personal finances. So please, subscribe below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.